hey, good to see you again. Well, you know, everybody's talking about everyday carry. EDC is important, I guess. Uh, so I thought, well, you know, if BC Truck and John Knoll can have an everyday carry, so can I. So here you, here you go, friends. John, it's for you. BC, hey, check it out. My everyday carry. Well, you know, I think a long time ago this, somehow we started sliding away from hats. I remember one time a good friend of mine, Michael Murphy, missionary from Honduras and residing in Texas, he called me up and he was coming to visit. And he said, well, Brother Michael, what, what do men wear down there in Florida for, head, for headgear? I said, well, mostly, uh, mostly wear ball caps. <laughs> Always the Texan Michael Murphy answered, ball caps. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I really agree with him. So my first thing on my everyday carry is I'm going to have a real hat on. This one's my backyard everyday carry. It's also my summer everyday carry because it's perforated. But there it is, my everyday carry hat. It's got that coral snake skin on it that years and years and years ago I killed and skin put it on my hat. So there it is. The reason this is my backyard hat is because my everyday hat, if I'm out going out on a town or something, I don't want it smelling like fireplace. So I'm around the smoky backyard all the time, and that's why I got this hat. This is my everyday carry backyard hat. So along with my everyday carry backyard hat, I got my everyday carry sunglasses. These are wraparounds because I, I wear glasses. So, sunglasses are important when, you, when you're outside, when you live in Florida. Um, sunglasses are good. Oh, okay, well, you're probably wondering what this thing is. Yeah, that's an everyday carry thing, too. Now, many of you may not understand this, but this is called a tallit. In Leviticus, believers are commanded to wear... A uh, fringe on their garments and to tie a blue string into the fringe and the intention of that fringe and that blue spring is to remind them about the word of Jehovah and so I'm concerned about the, the, uh, the word of Jehovah and I'm concerned about obeying a commandment to wear a tallit with the blue thread in it so we're told to wear it on the corners of our corners of our clothing but as you can see, I'm a round guy, not a corner guy. So I've got this, uh, I have this uh, micro tallit. Now this micro tallit is pretty special to me. So some of you, some of you may have heard of uh, Michael Rood. Michael Rood, uh, you, you probably know, is a messianic uh, messianic evangelist, messianic preacher, I don't know what you want to call him. But anyway, Michael Root's a good friend of mine. And um, he promised to give me a tallit, and he forgot to bring it. So he took this one right off of his belt. This, this is a, I'm a second generation owner on this. This, this tallit belonged to Michael Root. So Michael Root, thank you for this tallit. You remember when you gave it to me down there at South Bay Prison? I'm still wearing it. So, there's my tallit. Okay, this is kind of frivolous stuff, but it's fun. In the backyard, at least where I am now, I'm always fooling around with fire out. Almost a pyromaniac, I guess. So, this is my backyard fire kit right here. There's a magnesium rod. Most of you know how to use a magnesium rod. You scrape it, get a little pile of magnesium up. And then you strike your your uh, ferrocenium rod onto it, get a spark, get you a big bunch of fire. Also on the, on my neck neck fire kit, I've got a piece of uh, fat wood. Can you see that? You see the fat wood there? And this is a piece of jute string right here that I tied together around that like that. Well, I can tell you that if you take that jute string loose and you process it, get a big old bundle of fiber here loose jute string, get a little of that fat wood in there, put some of this magnesium in it, and what you got is a... Just hold it in front of you. What you got is a fight. 
a light, a light, a fire. And so there it is. That's my backyard carry fire kit. So moving right along. Um, if uh, you know, if one if one knife is good, then uh, two is better, and you know what, three is a lot better. And so my backyard carry. Here's one of my favorites. This is my Jeff Smith knife, custom knife. That's a French trade knife, custom French trade knife made by Jeff Smith. And here is a custom Robert Jones sheath to go with it. And so you see, I like the I like that uh, cross draw carry. And there's some more jute string tied around it, and a nice neat little braid here for some more fire stuff. So there's one of my favorite knives. It's a nice little knife, you see it? Nice little knife. Jeff Smith, French trade knife. Robert Jones, cross draw carry. And that's, that's every day. So, as I said, if one knife is good, two knives is better. There's my big old K-Bar K bar knife made in China it's a number 3077 you know what it's a cheap knife 16 17 bucks I lose them all the time buying for 16 or 17 bucks on eBay but you know what I like it it's got an ambidextrous thumb hole in it it's a good knife and here now we're getting down to it here's a real bad boy that's my Swiss Army knife, Boy Scout model. Can you see the Boy Scout emblem? There it is, a Boy Scout model. So this is my multi-tool here, my, my Boy Scout knife. It's got all the essentials on it. Phillips head screwdriver. Owl. Can you see these tools? Big blade. Little blade. Oh, here's one of my favorites. Saw blade. Another favorite. Scissors. Screwdriver and cap lifter. Screwdriver and can opener. And that's not all, though. Tweezers. toothpick that's all anyway now this is my really for real for sure everyday carrying that's always with me uh, sometimes I, I got the jogging shorts for pajamas sometimes you'd even find that in my jogging shorts let's see what else we got here whatever's in my pockets I'm just calling it everyday carrying so oh yeah Everybody needs a pair of these. What vice grips? <laughs> vice grips. I know you're saying, why would you want vice grips? But man, I use those things for everything, especially around the backyard or when I'm cooking. You know, they're real handy for tending little pots and pans on the fire, or tightening up screws on your on your fire pit stuff. Vice grips. See what else we got in here? wallet. Yeah, everybody needs one. It's nice if you got some money. I do this week. Oh, look what I found. Flashlight. Well, that's not normally in my pocket, but it was today, so that must make it today, Gary, anyhow. What else we got? Car keys. Oh, yeah, well, everybody needs their car keys. There we go. And then, of course, everybody... I don't know everybody's reaching underneath their shirt, but here we go. This is my Glock 23. Yes, I'm not pulling the slide back. I'm not pointing it at you, and it is loaded. So it wouldn't be worth much if it wasn't loaded, would it? Along with my Glock 23. I have my really neat mech holster. Mech holster. 
right there it is. If you, if you want to get a slick holster for your Glock, this is it. Attaches to your belt or your belt loop with a string. Your Glock goes in it like this. Drop it down in your pants like that. You're good to go. So anyway, that's it for my everyday carry. If I'm in the backyard like I am this morning, well, let's see, I forgot my staff here. Sometimes when you get old, you need a little help. And so I've got this. A little walking assistance now and then. So there it is. That's my walking stick. It's got that on the end of it. And then for my backyard everyday carry, I've got my Condor Bushcraft Parang that we talked about several different times. So I just drag this out in the backyard with me just in case I want to beat up some sticks or something. You know, one of my ongoing jobs in the backyard is processing firewood to keep my silver fire stoves all stoked up. So I got to do a lot of hacking. And sometimes I just use it to work off a little extra energy. I know it's hard to think of having extra energy, but sometimes I do. Anyway, hallelujah. That's my, that's my backyard bushcraft everyday carry stuff. You know, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'd like to bless you before you leave. So, you know, God told Aaron to bless his people this way. He said, say unto him, how does that go? Well, I guess my memory's not working good when I can't remember the ironic blessing I'm dead. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord, Jehovah, lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Shalom.